Sorry to keep doing this to you guys, but Eleanor is going to a new place. She's going to join a new family. Eleanor is special and she's always had special treatment, but it's time to take Eleanor to her new family. Hi guys, we're back for day two of catching Eleanor. We got her caught yesterday, but uh, it came quite a storm with all the rain that we've been getting lately. And I didn't have something, I needed something. I needed our dewormer. So we actually couldn't run her through our handling pins into the squeeze chute to give her her proper dewormer. And I wanna do that before we load her out and put her in the trailer. So yes, Eleanor is going somewhere. She's gotta go. Uh, she doesn't need to stay here. Our operations have moved and uh, our princess needs to go. So I've got uh, long range that I'm giving her today, a dewormer, before we load her out. So we gotta push her, gotta get her into our alley tub, into our squeeze chute, and we'll get her proper dewormer for this year because they need it, of course, just like the rest of them, because she didn't get worked when we were at Dunbar and all of them in April. We're getting her taken care of now. She looks really good and healthy. She's gained some weight and looks pregnant. So that's exciting uh, that Eleanor is probably pregnant and this could be her third calf. But remember, she's part of the late group. We had part of our babies, um, Red Dogs, in May last year of 2022. Then we had uh, five more in August. And I don't know if the drought had a lot to do with that. I don't know if they didn't come in heat at a normal time which is July and August, which is really close to where we're at now. But I had five late ones, and Eleanor, Peaches, and a couple of them other ones, the Quapaws, had their babies like August 23rd. So their cycle time frame is off. So if she does have a baby this year, it won't be till later this summer. And uh, it's not my favorite thing, but it is what it is. Uh, I think as long as we're having red dogs, it's a good thing, so. Let's uh, push Eleanor in here and get her in the squeeze chute. We're gonna give her her dewormer. It's gonna take one little shot and then we're gonna load her into the loadout onto the trailer. We're heading out. Okay. Go ahead, girl. You don't have anyone else that really knows how to operate this with you today, so. Can you okay, give us what? the squeeze, all the things here, the contraptions, oh, I, I the levers, it. the flipper the majiggers, the okay. whatever else. So I'm feeling a little uncomfortable about Just this right now. Slide. Open this, 
You ready? It's, no, it's already open. Oh, what slide? Oh, this Over slide. Here. Oh, separately together. Ready? Hold on, Cole. Hold on. Why do you have both of you have cameras? I don't know, Cole. Why did we both have cameras? <laughs> At a time like this, what are we doing? We don't know. Yeah. We're, we're just hoping for the best. Okay, sorry. Ready? Yeah. Somebody come over here. Okay. All right, girl. Sorry, Lauren. Good girl. Okay. That gate's open. So now that we've got Eleanor dewormed, she's ready to be loaded out on the trailer. So. The only bad part about our system is it actually works really well for us, but where we have to push her down the alley into our squeeze chute area, she has to go back the same way now, into that alley, into the tub, but now we just do a door exchange, and instead of running her down another alley into the squeeze chute, she's loaded out directly from the tub to the trailer. So because we just ran her through the tub once, she doesn't want to go back in there. So sometimes it's a little bit challenging to load them out. But we had to get her worked and dewormed before we loaded her on the trailer. She's on the, she's in there. Okay, Can't refine that thing. Where, is it on the very top, Dusty? Yeah. That's right. Here. Gotcha. Okay, back up. Oh, watch. Jeez. Watch out. Back up. She got a working wife. Hey, tell you, no one's got clogged by the black rooster as of yet. But he's there. <laughs> Here, on the, on the prowl. Marissa's arch nemesis. Yeah, I've been. He's been stalking me, and I've been stalking him right back. You gotta watch for the sneak attack. <laughs> Wrong thing. Hey, Bubba. Oh, we're bear. Is it Thor? Thor. Oh, Thor. Yeah, it's Thor. Thor. Hey, buddy. Out door. Over here telling his mom bye. All right. Well, we got our princess worked finally because she didn't get to make the working back in April when we did all the bison over here, uh, the Dunbar herd. So, got her dewormed and uh, got her loaded up. So, Sorry to keep doing this to you guys, but Eleanor is going to a new place. She's going to join a new family. 
Elnor is special and she's always had special treatment, but she belongs with her family and that's where she wants to be. I hope she likes it. She's been missing out on her family life and stuff and so hopefully she does well. We've missed her and I think everybody's missed Eleanor so hopefully everything goes well with her. We've got her loaded and uh, she's heading to a new place so you guys join us along as we take Eleanor to her new home. Uh, I know we've been doing this to you here lately, moving all of our animals around, transitioning from the OG, Mom and Kevin's, moving Dunbar around, and uh, some other of our original stock of our foundation herd. I know we keep leading you on, but special time here. The last one of the entire group, part of the very first five that Marissa and I ever started raising is right here one of our special, most uh, characteristic, unique bison of all of our bison is in the trailer. And uh, kind of a special time because now, you know, we didn't go to the arms. She's not going to the arms this place, but <laughs> she's gonna join her family out here where there's actually three females out here that uh, she's used to being with and uh, that she grew up with. Uh, where it all started at Mom and Kevin's for us at the original place. She's going to join the Big Joe herd. So what we're going to do, we're going to do something a little different. So I've got pasture one and two. They're all in pasture two right now. As you can see, there's a fence right here, a cross fence. But we're going to let her out in pasture one because she's kind of at the bottom of the pecking order. We're going to uh, let her in here just for a minute. Now they can come in here at any time. They have to go around the pasture into a gate to get here. Once they come around, they can get up close to her and stuff. But what I'm probably projecting here is they're going to push her around a little bit because she's a single coming here in a new place. So this way, they can still smell of her and not run her around um, the pasture. Because they typically, anytime you release bison with another herd, they just run them in circles. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of energy going on and uh, they gotta figure out the pecking order pretty quick. So we're gonna let her in here. I'll let her kinda get her feet back together and her motions together and new smells, new environment, and uh, meet her new herd. Without further ado, let's uh, introduce Eleanor to the Ponderosa. Y'all ready? I'm ready, back to the GoPro Which way are you getting it from? I'm getting it from over there so you can see the hell. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right. To the ponderous. Come on, girl. We've got the gates open to connect pasture one to two. It'll take a little bit, but the bison come together 
in the same pasture to reunite with Eleanor once again. In the next video, see how the Big Joe herd reacts to Eleanor coming to the Ponderosa for the first time. Thank you.